Hey, it's Mario here. I'm at the docks in a split Croatia. Pretty awesome hot day here. I'm kind of melting in the sun and I decided to come out here to film a quick video for you guys to share a couple of thoughts on BCA supplements. So are BCA supplements worth it? So should you be investing money into supplementing with branched amino acids? And we've all seen these big jack guys in the gym. They're taking these supplements. It's like uh, carrying around a big jug of uh, colorful liquid or it's like a bottle with the pink green, blue, orange, or whatever color, and they're claiming all sorts of benefits from taking BCAs. And also these supplement companies, obviously they're claiming that you build more muscle, lose more fat, get more recovery, and all of that. Is there any evidence, is there any proof to support these kind of claims? And if we summarize all the research, so if you really are objective, summarize everything out there, uh, there's no evidence whatsoever pointing out benefits of BCA on top of already having enough protein from your diet. So if you're getting about 0.8 to about 1.3 grams of protein per pound of lean body mass, there's no benefit whatsoever of taking BCA on top of that. And all the studies that we have showing benefits of BCAs are studies done on people who haven't been getting enough protein from their diet, so if you give them more protein, obviously they're gonna have some benefits. So that's important to really point out here as a lot of guys been wondering and asking this question, should I be investing money in this kind of stuff? Well, to be fair, no, I mean, my answer is no. I don't personally take them. I haven't taken BCA supplements for four years ever since I kind of figured out what the research was saying. And whey protein supplements are a much better investment in general because you get a more amino, a complete amino acid profile. And there's some theories out there that if you isolate amino acids, I mean, they're kind of competing. Uh, for the same absorption, so it's probably a better idea to take a complete protein source such as whey protein, or even better if you don't have to take whey protein just to get all your protein from solid, good, high quality food. This is what I would recommend for everybody out there. I mean, stick to your daily protein intake, spread that protein around the day in like three to six servings. I mean, whatever fits you the most, about three uh, meals a day filled with protein is perfectly fine. Uh, the only time I would really consider taking BCA supplements, let's say you're training faster and if you don't have any whey, then you take BCAs. But even then, I mean, if you compare how much BCA, how much of leucine, uh, isoleucine and valine you're getting, you're getting much more of that from whey at a better, better price than if you just buy BCA separately. So I would always take whey if uh, I'm really having to choose between the two. So whey is much more complete protein source and I'm taking that before my fasted workouts. So this is kind of my two cents on the topic. I mean, there's a lot of guys doing research on this. I'm gonna link a couple of research studies in the description below. Alan Argon, Brad Schoenfeld have done a um, couple of reviews as well. They're posting on social media. Guys like Stuart Phillips. I mean, there's a lot of uh, good, good data out there pointing out that we don't really need BCA supplements if we're getting enough protein. So keep that in mind, save your money, invest it somewhere else where you can get more benefits. And aside from that, let me know in the comments below, uh, are you currently taking BCA supplements? How long you've been taking them? So leave me a comment below. Aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to support the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.